Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell, keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit in your work on earth is done. Thank you, oh my Father. For giving us your son and leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done. Hallelujah. I have come to treasure him. If you are a wealthy man, there is only so much money can do. Money cannot heal a sick body. Hallelujah. Money cannot cure barrenness. Money cannot drive demons. If you are educated, education does not scare demons. Education does not cause a man to live long. Mm. If you are handsome or beautiful, beauty does not give people food otherwise the beautiful niger children roaming around will have no reason to be staying on that bridge is that true if you can speak english that's very good but there are many intelligent people who have not been able to do much in their lives but when you have this great spirit of the living God, you can solve the problem of the greatest man in the earth. Ah, this makes you more than a conqueror. See, treasure the spirit of God. This is called koinonia. If you do not value the presence of the Holy Spirit, see, the Holy Spirit will make you a much desired personality. They turned to Jesus and they said, All men seek for you. Why? Because there is this treasure in earthen vessels. The poor will look for you. The sick will look for you. The oppressed will look for you. Those who are confused will look for you. It's impossible to have and honor the ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life and remain a failure. It's impossible. This world is too dark. For his presence not to be recognized in the life of any man. The darkness of the world is a big advantage for the believer. Because the, the smallest spark of light makes you an enviable object. And every week we teach on different topics. But then we always take time to let us understand that our intimacy and fellowship with the Holy Spirit is the greatest asset we have in this place. He's the only one who can make this Bible come alive. You can go to 
theology school and confuse yourself and not even be blessed again. But when his presence comes upon this word and he opens you, oh no, come on. See, let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit can take you from where you are. Please pay attention. Pay attention. Stop trying to look for only what his presence can give. See, that we are chasing after things that only his presence can give. Do you not see that if you take the Spirit of God and his ministry in your life, to be filled with the Holy Spirit does not mean you are led by the Spirit. You allow your life to come under his governing influence. I'm telling you, he will make you a wonder beyond your imagination. Take me to the place The secret place That holy place That's where I want to be Take me to the place The secret place That's where I want to be. Holy Spirit, make yourself real to everyone in this place. Make yourself real. Make yourself real. Make yourself real. You are the keys of David. You are the one who can anoint the head of a man and turn an ordinary man to become a global wonder. Lord, this is our request. Let my heart be the temple of your spirit. Let my spirit feel the warmth of your embrace. Just the symbol. Let me be a holy habitation. Where your spirit is pleased to dwell. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer a sacrifice of Lord, fill this vessel. Fill this vessel. Fill this vessel. Fill this vessel. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Your place, take your place, take your place, take your place. All is faith, holy ghost, holy ghost, holy ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your 
body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. How I desire your presence. I desire your presence. You are the fountain of life. You are the fountain of life. You can take anyone to the place of the blessing, to the place of your glory. Take us, Lord, take us, Lord. To the place of your glory Take your place 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 Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. My soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit, breathe on me. 
take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul. Take my body, my life. Lord, we desire you more than life itself. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. Ya na ba la ba na ba ro so to ya na 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 ba Ya na la la na ba ya na ba na 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 ba Ya na 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 Hallelujah. See, listen, let me tell you. There is nothing you are truly looking for that you will ever find if the Holy Spirit does not lead you there. Are you hearing me? There is nothing, I don't care what it is. There is nothing you are truly looking for. Success, prosperity, husband, wife, job, you will never find it if you disregard the holy spirit let me tell you in advance you will never ever find it until the holy spirit leads you there hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please be seated you will never find it if it does not lead you there you can pretend you have found it. You will never find joy. You will never find fulfillment. All of these things people chase after. No. You will never find it disregarding the Holy Spirit. He has become my all. He has become my all. He will turn an ordinary person see let me tell you something listen this chase for recognition this chase for fame this chase for greatness will keep ending people in utter frustration until the holy spirit leads you there please take what i'm saying seriously i'm yet to see one man that truly found life and all it can give with the true joy and satisfaction without the Holy Spirit. It's not true. It's not true. I, I need you to understand that I'm, these things are not just done as a religious jamboree. Some of us have never paid attention to the things of the Spirit. We think if I just come, it's possible to be here right now and your heart is not even with God. You are just here and then you will find out that you will never get that blessing. Are you not tired of trying to find fulfillment outside of him? Why don't you settle down? Come. Be on his side. And see what you will make out of your life. Be magnified. Oh Lord. You are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. 
years ago and many people thought we were just talkatives and jokers are you hearing what I'm saying this thing I have been saying this thing for years but when you don't pay attention to the things of God your suffering has just begun because there are many people after 20 years 30 years 40 years of a meaningless life of utter frustration they find out that everything they have put their confidence on has failed one by one the dangerous thing about that kind of failure is it all does not happen in one day it will keep happening again after one cycle finishes another cycle of failure will start but the way of the lord is the way of wisdom choose that way now I choose the way for the way for the way of the Lord is the way of me. I choose the way of the presence can guarantee you anything in life when you honor God's presence for you success is an issue of when not if it no longer becomes magic hallelujah I'm teaching tonight a very powerful topic and I like your heart to be open Luke 14 Luke 14. Hallelujah. Say after me, my Christianity must produce an evidence. Say it, my Christianity must produce results. Say it like you believe it. My Christianity must produce results. I forbid you from this resultless Christianity that frustrates you and frustrates those around you. When there is an evidence in your life that God is real and that the truths in his word are real, let me tell you the truth. You will compel men to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and you will turn many to righteousness. Hallelujah. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. It's gotta be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things we press in need. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Help me say, it's gotta be more than this. Hallelujah. I can never be a failure in life. Never, never, never. I've left that cycle forever till Jesus comes. I told you last week understanding everybody say understanding when you have he said in all thy getting get understanding come mike come climb these stairs no just stay down climb up climb up did you need to think to climb this because you know how to do it go back and do it again this is we call predictability your life can be that accurate and that circumspect that you know that you know that you know that you know that you have come out of certain realms forever. 
your life can be that predictable that you can become a success so for you it's a matter of when not if there are some of us success is still at the realm of if because we are still hoping that one day bless you god will see what i'm doing and then maybe he will just bless me let me tell you in advance you don't need to wait till after 10 years let me tell you now you are wasting your time it will not work that way there are keys he said and i will give you the keys of the kingdom he said by reason of that keys whatever you bind in the earth will be bound in the heavens whatever you lose until you have these keys you cannot command authority in this realm many of us have been listening but we have not been paying attention today is an opportunity again why don't you tell yourself look i want to settle down let me understand this thing once and for all hallelujah i'm preaching tonight on extraordinary accomplishments the cost extraordinary accomplishments colon the cost what does it take to be a sign and a wonder what does it take to be a living wonder what does it take to function in this earth realm as if you are not a normal human being what does it take to ride towards the things that force men to bow to we have been throughout last month we were taking a series on success and i thought we had rounded up until i was praying and the lord told me no there's one more extraordinary accomplishments the cost tonight i want to open you up to the cost dimension of accomplishments in life the cost dimension hallelujah this word cost and price these are two words that many believers hate we hate that word the moment you say cost or price people just resent it and they get angry but when you say gift or reward people say aha uh -huh, this is what i want but the moment you say cost we hate opening up ourselves to the cost implication of life unfortunately let me tell you the truth get it straight and get it this night i don't care who preaches what for you don't mislead yourself you will never never enter the realm of true greatness and extraordinary accomplishments if you deny the fact that there is a price and there is a cost so the first thing I want you to know this night is that extraordinary accomplishment is very costly. It's very costly. It's not just costly. It's very costly. Number two, ignorance and failure is also very costly. So whether you embrace the life that will bring supernatural accomplishments or not you are going to pay the price in this life period hallelujah outstanding success had a, a huge price tag it's very costly failure also has a price tag it is also costly the difference is this for accomplishment and success you pay the price before it comes for failure you pay the price after it comes you get that but you are going to pay the price in any way so you can choose to pay it now you don't need to say i claim success no you don't need to claim it if you pay the price now that is your act of faith to show that you have chosen you don't just choose by saying i choose alone he said if you call yourself the sons of abraham you would do what abraham did hallelujah 
people hate the word cost they hate the word price and so many people especially preachers have tried to create nice messages to explain away the fact that there is a cost implication to supernatural accomplishment let me tell you something go and ask any man whether in the secular world or in the christendom who has risen to and made any level of supernatural accomplishment of whatever sort ask them and they will tell you there is a price to pay hallelujah the one time wealthiest man in america was asked a question he said what is the secret of success and he laughed he said secret number one know what the price is number two pay the price period know what it is pay the price and tonight i pray for you that the fear of paying the price for a supernatural life let that fear leave you because let me tell you something you are afraid of what must come so it's better to develop courage and face it once and for all remember we preach the message give me this mountain in every mountain there are giants if you find a mountain that there are no giants run away every mountain there are giants life is full of men who paid several prices defied certain things and today the world is celebrating them and if you must do much for god there is a price to pay don't let anybody fool you there is a price to pay hallelujah and tonight we will look at the cost factor the cost implication hallelujah if we do not want to end up like many people that we have seen or many believers frustrated humiliated then it's important to pay the price right now i will always quote this scripture lamentations 3 27 he said it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth now that you have strength why don't you make up your mind to flog it out with destiny so that you can enter the sabbath and rest once and for all the bible says and on the seventh day god rested i've said it again and again if you have not entered your seventh day and you are resting let me tell you life will kick you out of that rest in a painful way you only rest when you have entered your seventh day some from day one they're already seeking rest we live in a generation of comfort we like comfort hallelujah a lot of people like com we love comfort we hate inconvenience no no don't keep me standing for 10 minutes uh -uh, i can't take it ah the sun is too hot go and buy umbrella for me we 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 are addicted to comfort to a to a a degree that it is robbing us of paying the price for a glorious destiny hallelujah someone starts a business the first profit that comes is buying jeans and shoe and buying one one rickety car that you keep maintaining it for the next how many years until everything eats up his money but to pay the price and say oh let me just wait let me endure no i want to prove a point i want to prove a point comfort comfort has destroyed a lot of people comfort is good but you see let me tell you something when it gets to a point where it stops you from paying the price then you are you are eating your future in your today and this is the case with a lot of people hallelujah this is what has birthed this false and fake life that people live. They try to pretend realms of success they have not yet come into. And so they put themselves under unnecessary pressure. Hallelujah. It's very important say after me i will pay the price please say it i will pay the price look at me 
don't you think this message is not important this night because i am going to be attacking some ugly religious spirits that always think that when you are teaching about success and accomplishment they think it's not spiritual enough i thought we just came and we should be praying or i thought we should come and do this sooner or later your lack of paying attention will punish you to a point that you backslide spiritually without knowing hallelujah when you become a father and you know that you cannot be praying from morning till night you have the fees of children to pay is that true you have responsibilities at that point you will know that one key does not open every door in the spirit it takes keys and opening up yourself to them may your children never look at you and say daddy what is what is the benefit of all of this christianity may people not look at you in the village and say you are you are an unbeliever i am a christian what is the difference see let me tell you something the kingdom of god is a reward system are you following me now the kingdom of god operates on a reward system so you are rewarded for complying with kingdom principles i made up my mind years ago that i was going to end some things in my life forever and I knew that to do that, comfort will be out of the way. And this is my first encouragement for you this night. Take this unnecessary spirit of luxury and comfort. It's not bad. Pack it up and keep it. A day will come when you will be comfortable indeed. Not now. The Bible says the vision will speak at the end no vision speaks at the beginning he says it in the end it will speak hallelujah another deceitful approach to success is waiting for god to do everything have you seen people like that i know god will do it i know my god will do it are you not the king of the heavens you can do anything you want to do you can bless whoever you want to bless you can cause whoever you want to cause let me tell you straight to the point if that is your philosophy then your suffering has not yet begun the bible says the heaven of heavens belong to the lord he said but the earth has he given to the sons of men if you do not take charge of your destiny you may be very surprised hallelujah I'm going to be talking about three aspects three levels of the cost number one we'll quickly look at the spiritual cost the first cost is the spiritual cost you want to live a life of extraordinary supernatural accomplishments no matter who you are the first price to pay is your spiritual life the spiritual cost hallelujah there are many of you right now if i ask you what are you doing towards your success you say i'm trying to look for money i'm looking for capital may god just bless me let me just get money and see what i will do or somebody is running somewhere say i'm just trying to look for a job i'm trying to look for this and we pay very little attention if at all for some of us our spiritual lives we wake up in the morning 5 30 stand at, 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 at the junction outside and you see everybody waking up in the morning hurrying running from morning until night ask them what they are looking for they tell you i want to move forward i want to make progress i want to make meaning out of my life but the bible says except the lord builds the house he said the word there is not except the lord build it for you except the lord becomes the architect of the house it says they labor in vain and except the lord watches over his city he said the watchman watch it in vain he said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow but he give it to his beloved sleep hallelujah let's look at the scripture quickly second chronicles 26 
Second Chronicles 26. Second Chronicles 26. If you are there, say Amen. Verse 5. Are you there? Verse 5. It says, this is speaking about the king Uzziah. Listen please. He said, and he sought God in the days of Zechariah who had understanding in the visions of God. And he said, oh, I thought it was projected. He said, as, and as long as he sought God, what happened? God made him prosper. Is that in your Bible? As long as he sought God, what happened? So his prosperity, his accomplishments in life were directly tied to his passion, genuine passion for God. Many of us do not have a passion for God. We only love God because we have been told that he is mighty. And if you come close to him, maybe he will drive demons away from your life. And then success will come quickly. If you want to be blessed and to do much for God in this kingdom, the first requirement is your spiritual life. Uzziah, he sought God. He says, as long as he sought God, God made him to prosper. Let's read on. And he went forth and warred against the Philistines and broke down the wall of God. Look at his accomplishments. Look at the mighty things that he did because God was with him. And the wall of Ashdod and built cities about Ashdod and among the Philistines. Verse 7. And God helped him. Did you see that now? God did what? God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians who dwelled in Gubal and in Milnim and the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah. Look at all the things that happened in his life because he sought God. Let's read on. And his name spread abroad. This is the fame many people are looking for. And his name, why? He sought God. He sought the health of his spiritual life first. He was not just seeking fame and power. In the Bible, everyone who truly sought God made a mark in this life. Listen to me. The first cost is your spiritual life. Let's finish up. For he strengthened himself exceedingly. Nine. Moreover, Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem. Look at this accomplishment. At the corner gate and at the valley gate and at the turning of the wall and fortified them. Also, he built towers in the desert. In the desert. He built towers in the desert. Do you know how the desert sand is? The desert sand is not solid. Whatever you build, if you are not careful, but he said he built towers in a desert extraordinary accomplishments because he sought God. Hallelujah. And he dig many wells for he had much cattle both in Shephelah and in the plains husbandmen also and vine dressers in the mountains and so on and so forth. Read verse 11. He said moreover Uzziah had a host of fighting men. Who is this strange man that was just breaking records, smashing records again and again. Defying the things that had been done in his days. The Bible tells us his secret. He said he sought God. He sought God. Look at this kind of exploits. This is our year of supernatural exploits. It doesn't just happen by magic. Let's finish up. We'll read to verse 15. Who went out to war by bands? according to the numbers of their reckonings by the hand of Jael, the scribe. Hallelujah. And then let's read verse um, 14. And Uzziah prepared for them throughout all the hosts, shields and spears and helmets 
and coats of mail and bows and slings to cast stones verse 15 and he made in jerusalem what engines the first person in the bible recorded to invent engines this guy broke through in several circles the bible says that he invented them invented by cunning men to be on the towers upon the bulwarks so that when they came to attack them they used engines to defend themselves extraordinary accomplishments because of the quality of his spiritual life he said to shoot arrows and great stones without listen he said and his name spread where notice the bible in the previous verse said his name spread abroad now see another dimension his name spread far abroad he said for he was marvelously helped the first time he was helped now he was marvelously helped until he was strong have you been paying attention have you been paying this spiritual price oh there is a spiritual price to pray for success and the beautiful thing is that at any point in your life you can start are you hearing what i'm saying so per adventure your spiritual life has not been an issue for you you just believe that somehow you can navigate yourself through life let me tell you right now hear the voice of the lord he said i wish above all things that ye prosper and be in health to the proportion to which your soul prospereth we have neglected the spiritual prosperity of the soul our intimacy and our relationship there are many things that can distract us looking for money looking for success wanting connection wanting to go here and there wanting to go abroad germany italy dubai everybody wants to go let me tell you something if you pay attention to your spiritual life first you will be helped the holy ghost is called a helper and the bible says Uzziah was marvelously helped he enjoyed a rich dimension of the holy spirit let me tell you when god backs you you must succeed it doesn't matter what the odds are say i take my spiritual life seriously the spiritual cost under the spiritual cost the first price you need to pay is revelation and wisdom everybody say revelation you want to accomplish much spiritually in this kingdom we're talking about your spiritual cost now revelation and wisdom paul prayed to the church especially in uh, uh, the, the the church in 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 in, in ephesus ephesians 1 from verse 17 down he said i pray to the god of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the heart of your understanding the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know revelation and wisdom what is wisdom wisdom is the ability to take the truth of god's word and put it into practical application to deliver results for you anything you claim to know that is not useful in your life is not advancing the kingdom is not improving the quality of your life dump it it's a waste of time wisdom is not just the right application of knowledge it's the ability to take the truth of god's word and offer solution to life's problems and the bible says daniel 12 verse 3 he says and they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heavens daniel 12 he said and they that be wise shall do what shall shine as the brightness you want to be a star you want to rise above get wisdom get revelation understand how things work in the spirit when you understand the spiritual laws that are responsible for delivering certain results i promise you life will bow to you hallelujah are you listening to me so pay the price let your spiritual growth be constructive it's not just coming to church and learning all the nice spiritual languages 
go for revelation this is what we seek to teach not revelation of stories principles keys 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 i will give you the keys of the kingdom when you find the key to this door you can open it when you find the key to this door you will open it when you find the key to that door you will open it if you do not have the door you can pretend the door is open but sooner or later life will demand you to go outside and it will be evident that you do not have the key there are many people pretending to have found it rather than humbling themselves to say no look let's take this thing can i tell you something no matter how long find it he said the kingdom of god is like a man who is searching for a pearl when he found it he sold everything he had to buy that land when you pay the price to get revelation it will reward you please listen to me finance in the kingdom has spiritual laws health in the kingdom has spiritual laws victory over sickness and death and failure has spiritual laws success in life has spiritual laws favor has spiritual laws they don't just happen a good marriage is governed by spiritual laws hallelujah longevity in life is governed by spiritual laws how many of these laws do you know that is how you can measure the quality of your life i want to ask you a very practical question how many of these laws do you know hallelujah very important revelation 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 when you love the lord with all your heart he will open you up to revelations first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 the bible says i has not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered the heart of any man what god has in store not for them that speak in tongues for them that love him when you love god he will open you up to secrets and brother when you find it you have found it forever when you truly love god and for as long as he sought the lord god made him to prosper have you been seeking the lord in your quest for accomplishment have you been paying a, is god part of your success equation i love the lord with all my heart the bible says in first kings 3 verse 3 it says and solomon loved the lord solomon loved that's what that's that was the basis of everything that he did and solomon loved the lord Do you really love the lord enough to seek him with all your heart to seek to know his ways and how do you know those who love the lord it's very clear john 14 21 so don't just say i love the lord we are going to see it now john 14 21 hallelujah he says he that keepeth my commands he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father so who is the one that loves god please listen who is it who is the one that loves god it didn't say the one who claims i love god i love god i love god uh -uh. if you truly love him you will abide by his commands he said and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and i will love him and i will do what manifest reveal myself God is not revealing himself to everybody. There are certain people that attract him with their passion for him. This is a big secret. Let's look at verse 23 of the same verse. Same chapter, sorry. Jesus answered and said, If a man love me, he will do what? He will do what? So have you been keeping his words? If you have not been keeping his words, you do not love him. Period. If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him. And we will come to him. Are you seeing there? And make our habitation, our abode. This is the secret of intimacy. Love for God. 
the bible says the secret things of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants many people let me tell you the truth many people want to serve god but they don't love the lord they respect god though they are christians they are not doing but that passion for god they don't have it and then they wonder why god seems to make himself real to other people i've shown you the secret of intimacy if you truly love the lord you will attract him by creating the atmosphere that brings his presence love for god hallelujah let me share with you under revelation just three keys that will guide us we are still under the spiritual cost and under that we are still under revelation so love for god i've told you love for god is one key to intimacy the presence of god you can have power without loving god it's impossible to have the presence of god without loving him no number two obedience obedience is very important everything in the kingdom is tied to obedience everything 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 in the kingdom is tied to obedience just one scripture so that we we'll put it under there deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i commanded this day he said this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you hallelujah he said you shall be exalted above all nations and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you deuteronomy 28 verse 1 so obedience 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 doing the word faith is not just saying what god has said faith is doing what god has said So love, the key to the presence of God. The key to deep secrets in the spirit. Obedience, the key to committing God in anything you are doing. The Bible says you are only willing to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. He told Cain, Cain was angry because Abel's sacrifice was being received. And his own was not being received. He told Cain, he said, if you do what your brother did, will your sacrifice not be accepted? So obedience. Anytime you want God to show up and to perform in your life, make sure you obey his principles. The last key that I'll talk about quickly under Revelation is the law of tithing. Let me shock you very quickly. Tithing has nothing to do with money. Look at me. Tithing does not bring money. The Bible never tied tithing to money. Let me tell you what tithing does. Hallelujah. Sorry. Many people tithe because they want money. Wrong. Tithing as a principle and as a key in the kingdom has nothing to do with financial prosperity. It is your giving that brings financial increase. Are you hearing me? Tithing opens the heavens. See, listen, listen, look at me. There's no time. We have to touch other aspects and I want us to pray. Please look at me. The Bible says God created many trees in the Garden of Eden. Is that true? But God kept a tithe in that Garden of Eden. I want to show you where tithing started from. So long as that tithe was not touched, the heavens were open. God could come in the cool of the day. Is that true? Please answer me. Tithing is one of the spiritual laws that is responsible for open heavens. So whatever you do under that open heavens will now prosper. That's why tithing does not just affect finance alone. Health, longevity, different aspects of our lives. The reason why we preachers only reduce tithes to money is simply because we want the money. Period. The day man touched the tithe, what happened? The heavens were closed and they sent him out of the garden of Eden. Look at how important tithing is to God so long as man did not touch the tithe he could enjoy any other tree he touched the tithe god sent him out so every many of us are operating under close heavens you are giving 
but under closed heavens you are serving god but under closed heavens let me tell you something i don't care whatever you do see the devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality he operates on legal grounds principalities operate on legal grounds are you hearing what i'm saying that means you can you don't pray them away you don't pray them away there are kingdom principles that keep them at bay please understand this he said in my name they shall cast out what but he said they overcame them by it is in my name many of us have been praying trying to cast away principalities in our lives no it is your obedience of kingdom principles that keep them far that means if you are not a tighter even god cannot stop the devourer it will take only the blood to speak for you are you hearing me please in the series that are coming i will teach you about the mystery of the spirit the water and the blood because the bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the spirit he said these three are in agreement he said but in the earth realm there are three the three entities that can open any door in this realm the spirit the water that's the word of god and what the blood he said and these three agree anything they agree on that door must open hallelujah these are very deep spiritual principles there are many of you you have prayed and fasted about some things it didn't change that's to tell you that your spiritual approach may be wrong hallelujah let's continue tithing the heavens will open over you everybody say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful i need my heavens open see when your heavens are open you will know you will know your heavens are open one time i was praying i think around chapel and the lord showed me a vision i looked up and i saw like two ancient gates they were closing and opening closing and opening i said lord what is the meaning of this and the lord told me this is the heavens opening and closing over people and this is the faithfulness of tithing please take this serious tithing does not bring money tithing opens the heavens when the heavens are open anything done under that open heavens will succeed you see why some of you have been given you have been given to the poor you have been given to the needy things are not working because the heavens are closed the devourer just needs to look at your heavens and know whether he's permitted to come to your life or not this is a powerful key that many many ministries there are many ministries who love god great preachers but they are living under closed heavens so they don't know why members don't come have you seen people complain like that members come and go members do this and that i will train people and then they will leave let me tell you something check it if you are not careful the heavens are open the heavens are closed sorry when your heavens are open you will see extraordinary things that you know only god can do you can negotiate this principle god is not a politician there's no back door no shortcut hallelujah so have you been faithful in tithing if you have not been faithful in tithing stop saying god is responsible for what you are in you have permitted the devourer there are many of us who are in business you don't tithe many of us god blesses us you don't tithe see if you do it out of force it's not by faith and whatever is not of faith is sin you just wasted your time it is a product of a revelation how can i eat the tithe of god here is my heart my mind make up your mind lord not touching your tight if you are faithful you will live in eden when you touch the tight you are sent out of eden when they sent man out of eden toiling and all kinds of things there are many of you truly it's not like god is not blessing you but it does not work the bible says and whatsoever he doeth Take this tithing thing serious. 
the number one key you need to teach people about open heavens is tithing don't think this is a gimmick by preachers if you come and pay the tithe and the preacher eats the tithe it's god that will punish him but you do your part do not allow anybody's negligence to stop you tell am i sure it's not that usher that will carry my money what is your business make up your mind buy envelopes many of us are owing god you say god let me touch this five thousand please this is an emergency i must respond to it immediately and the devourer is saying go ahead please go ahead the moment you take it <laughs> you are just convinced that because you took communion or they made cross with oil on your head the devourer goes and you just fall down and stand up and say thank you jesus the devourer is waiting for you the moment you come out the oppression continues i'm telling you kingdom principles supernatural accomplishment starts with an open heavens he said you will see the heavens open the moment the heavens are open angelic activities begin in your life when jacob saw the heavens open what happened angels started ascending and descending and jesus told nathaniel he said you are you are shouting because you have just seen these things he said you will see greater things what are the greater things you will see the heavens open and the angels every time angelic activities are scarce in your life check your heavens may be closed hallelujah number two prayer so revelation one and then prayer prayer you must pray you must pray it's one of the greatest spiritual investment now i've had preachers even on tv talk against prayer and they say pray 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 you pray you don't pray all you just need is the word 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 <laughs> listen let me tell you the honest and sincere truth the bible says we will not leave the ministry of tables i mean the ministry of uh, we will not concentrate on serving tables we'll focus on the ministry of the word and prayer hallelujah a prayerless christian is a powerless christian period whatever destroys your prayer life has killed your christian heritage it's a dangerous spiritual investment that you must make it will build your spirit you will build sensitivity the gifts of the spirit will find expression the anointing of the spirit will be at work in your life and the anointing itself is capital everybody say anointing is capital yes we only know naira and cobble and dollars and pounds to be capital anointing is big capital are you hearing me the anointing can open doors for you that nothing else will open anointing is great capital all men seek for thee that's what they told jesus why were they seeking for him because he had an anointing do you know that if you have an anointing the uncle you are trying to talk to that is neglecting you he needs something that the anointing upon your life can solve you concentrate and build that capital i have entered places today that if i was not anointed there is no way on earth at this level of life those doors would have opened impossible impossible hallelujah prayer let's look at the second cost spirit move over me spirit move over me intellectual cost everybody say intellectual cost say it intellectual cost so the first cost is your spiritual cost for supernatural accomplishment second cost is intellectual cost help us holy spirit isaiah 5 verse 13 everybody while you are opening i like you to shout knowledge is power not not that school a long high dogo say knowledge is power say it again knowledge is power hallelujah knowledge is truly power if you value knowledge and you value information 
you will do wonders in this earth realm please listen this is where i want everybody to give us our attention because i know for many of us the spiritual cost we are paying it very well but probably we are not paying the intellectual cost knowledge is power isaiah 5 verse 13 everyone read one to read therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with test why knowledge everybody say knowledge say information what you do not know can destroy you ignorance is not an excuse in this realm in the world of champions you don't give room for ignorance many of us are spiritually serious but we are mentally lazy we are not willing to pay the price preachers hear me emoji wake up many preachers are intellectually lazy and they wonder why they are not commanding results hallelujah sustainable success is guaranteed by quality access to information your access to quality information about any area of life that you are trusting God to be an ambassador whether business whether your job there are many people who may never be promoted till Jesus comes because they are praying in tongues they are paying spiritual prices but they are neglecting their intellectual price look at me see honesty is good but that's not the only thing that is required in delivering results competence is key and competence is a product of intellectual prowess are you listening to me many nigerians have dreams and visions there are many books dream big have a great vision that's wonderful but just having a dream or a vision may never bring it to pass you must re you must get the knowledge and the information it takes to push that vision from being a dream until it starts walking on two legs everybody say intellectual cost ignorance is very costly i told you very very costly he said i daniel understood by books this book of the law the bible says this book not this chase magazine not this pointless novel this book many of us do not invest in building our intellectual capacity somebody comes and say god is calling me i'm going to be a public speaker i saw it in a vision i saw myself wearing suit like pastor femi you may die and never enter that revelation if you are not ready you think we are going to bring you to come and present a paper for us when you don't you've not read any book on public speaking you don't know anybody hallelujah you're not opening up yourself to learn from people who have gone ahead of you you will never arrive there this is what will frustrate you more many christians are frustrated because they cannot understand why although they are praying although they love god they see that they are lazy intellectually go to the house of many believers you don't find anything somebody is walking in his job he's never read any book to improve him does not understand anything about people's skills does not understand anything about leadership many pastors are governing churches all they know is how to pray in tongues and preach well they have no knowledge of corporate leadership they have no knowledge of corporate financing hallelujah principles of conflict resolution they do not know these things they don't care principles of church growth they don't care hallelujah praise the lord it's very important many of us do not pay the price to build ourselves intellectually you believe god is calling you to be a reality a tv show or a hostess or host or marriage and whatever and you sit down people ask you what do you know about marriage is the coming together of a man and a woman to be a husband and wife do you know listen listen see no matter how tongue talking you are are you hearing me if i want to employ people 
and i see that you are going your your intellectual deficiency is a disadvantage to my corporation do you think i will employ you please answer me so why are you angry with god there are many people who are not interested listen this is important they are not interested in building themselves they don't build capacity how many books do you have in the area you believe god is sending you to see let me tell you we live in a world where the basic knowledge you get from university is not enough are you hearing what i'm saying listen there must be an added advantage the difference between the five virgins who were wise was that they took extra oil there are many people who go into business they don't know anything about the business they just hear somebody went to dubai and went and brought containers you too you stand up carry everything you have home and abroad they go and throw you away from the airport say you are going to dubai they seize all of your goods now you come back god is not faithful i'm a titan no no everybody say intellectual prowess psalms 45 verse 4 can we look at it quickly we're going to pray psalm 45 verse 4 god is doing something in this place he said listen and in thy majesty write prosperously because of what truth information write prosperously because of the truth that you know write prosperously bishop oedeko said something that touched me in a very powerful way he said most restaurants you can go abroad and see certain restaurants and they tell you this restaurant is 50 years old is that true this restaurant is 70 years old the owner has died yet the restaurant is still on in nigeria somebody opens a restaurant after two two years he has fought with everybody in that community till they close the restaurant and the person is a christian everybody say after me your intellect your mind must be transformed for you to accomplish supernaturally i tell you i i feel the fire of god in this place i must burn this enough buy books buy books not trainers buy books not with on buy books not mary Kay. the books will buy you mary Kay. See, he said, buy the truth. Sell it not. There are certain things I do every day before I sleep. Every day. Some of you sleep from morning till night. You are just happy. Lazing around. You come and see people reading and you say, oh boy, you said, now wow, what are you reading? You keep distracting people. There is a name for those people. They are called enemies of progress. How many of us pay attention? There are many of us visitation, hopping from house to house, hopping to people's office, gossiping and discussing things that have no bearing to your future. Great men, hear me, are men who have learned to settle down and build their minds. That you are a Christian is no guarantee for you to allow yourself to be mentally lazy. They give you a speech to prepare. You didn't prepare for it. You are not serious about it. God has brought favor. Lack of intellectual preparation killed the favor out of your life. Hallelujah. There are many of you. Oh, God is calling me into decoration. What do you know about decoration? How many books? Show me the DVDs you are watching. About those who, have, who are champions in decoration. And you come and just keep sleeping 30 pieces of paper for people please give me a contract i am a christian i'm your member so what so what oh i can make hair don't patronize that person is an unbeliever patronize me the person patron he said plot me all back you plot like this yet you think that the person would just say okay you are a nice christian are you contending to improve yourself I improve myself every day. I'm not satisfied with where I am. In every area of my life. Show me what you are doing to build your mind. 
show me the investments you are making mentally and i can tell you whether you'll be part of the world changers or you'll be part of the storytellers are you listening to me very important lay your hands on your head and say after me in the name of jesus i receive grace to build my mind i will buy books i will buy dvds i will build myself in the area i've been called to function i will be the best i will not relent until i am the best say i will not relent i refuse to be a local champion i'm a global champion hallelujah yes make up your mind refuse to be a local champion a brother is 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 getting married and all he has home and abroad is two hundred thousand. so they called you and gave you ten thousand for decoration you just did every kind of ugly thing and they say who did this they say you they say oh well done you just believe that another time you say i'm carrying a proposal to abuja you carry your file and you are moving to go and disgrace yourself in abuja when you go there you will see other people who have worked upon themselves when you see their designs you just stand there as if god failed you please take seriously what i'm saying believers build yourself every day there are four things i do on before i sleep i must build myself spiritually i must build myself corporately i must build myself in leadership What are you doing? What do you do with your 24 hours? Many of you early in the morning, they saw you in Samaru. Later on, you are in High Dogo. Later on, you are around and you just come and say, I'm, I'm, I had a busy day. Doing busy but doing nothing. Nothing. You went to go and gossip. Jakes, Kajikwa. You now run to another person. You did this. Stop it if you have been doing that. Great leaders are not like that. If somebody comes and is disturbing you, don't be afraid to tell the person, sorry, I'm doing some studies. I'm praying. Some of you are embarrassed. You don't want to be bad. Ah. Create a protocol around your life. Let nobody just jump in and out of your life because they think they want to see you. You are studying. At that point, illumination is coming. Somebody just bashes in. Over everything for the boys politely tell the person I'm, I'm in a period i'm birthing something that can take my family from where they are to mount ararat and take them to a place where they will be great do you not know samadhi he says ideas rule the world there are many of you if only you pay attention the truth is god tried for you you are very intelligent you are just not serious you can't sit down and pay the price and you know something listen the truth is if you really really want to be great god will open the way for you the reason is many of us do not want it bad enough that's why the way has not opened i don't care what it is you want if you desire it truly he said you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart there is a level of passion when i want things i get them oh yes i get them I will pay any price to get it for me pain is not an issue hallelujah when i travel and people who have gone ahead of me in any area of life are talking i get a viral i'm just listening to them ardently or i'm just typing on my phone i'm listening to the wisdom they are bringing while i'm listening i'm reaching out to my pocket finding any seat there to connect you see let me tell you i i taught this already in commanding results the law of honor things do not just happen are you hearing what i'm saying things are made to happen the truth is whatever area it is you are trusting god to go to there are people who are carriers of that grace there are people who have that knowledge you want to plot you believe you want to start a saloon have you gone to somebody who has who has a saloon and tell the person see i have two thousand naira. can i give you this two thousand naira and be coming every day and be learning for one hour i plead with you say me i started plotting somebody this all these people this arrogance 
is what has kept a lot of people humility if you do not humble yourself you will never build your mind don't wait for people who have solution to come and meet you doctors don't look for sick people they establish an institution called a hospital and the sick people look for them passionately and even in the hospital there are different kinds of words according to your desperation there is a word called emergency word when you really need help badly they take you to that world life has emergency world there are many people who you can get tired of your life that you say no i'm not going to any i'm going to an emergency world build yourself build yourself oh god wants to make me a pastor and god showed me in a vision i'm going to have one thousand branches my brother start getting going for knowledge before you die early the trouble of managing yourself is even killing you and you want to manage 1000 branches full of members see this is why god does not answer the prayer of a lot of people they they want crowd they do not know the complexities that come with managing people every day there is a case somewhere somewhere this is what was wearing moses away and his father jethro in law um, uh, his father in law jethro began to give him a key on how to he would have died for nothing there are many men of god who are dying because they are doing everything everything because they do not understand the principle everybody say i receive grace to build my mind jordan bookstore is there you can start let me see how many of you believe that you are going to do business let me see your hands business people whether potentially or presently what are you doing in that line of business keep your hands lifted so that i will what are you doing are you doing anything or you are just coveting other people who have gone ahead and say hey god oh, this is lucky oh. please drop your hands take it seriously you want to do business behave like a businessman don't behave like a thief How many of you believe that God has called you into one form of leadership or the other? Whether corporately, almost everybody should be lifting their hands. You are either a father or a mother at least. What are you doing to build? No, I'm serious. What are you doing to build it? I build myself every day. I interact with the brightest of the brightest of the brightest. I love everybody but I will not learn from everybody. I want to shorten my journey as much as possible so i'm not ready for anybody to bring his mediocrity and make and punish me then after many years go for the best say go for the best tell your neighbor go for the best don't let loyalty and sympathy make you just camp around people you know your brother is good but the truth is he cannot sing very well you want to be a musician collect his own tape so that he won't feel angry but go and look for people who have earned the right to command authority in that field loyalty has stopped a lot of people from moving forward a man of god who is not a businessman doesn't know anything about business is organizing a business expose and preaching all kinds of messages that don't make sense he's a good man of god but a bad businessman and a lot of people carry all of those principles and life flogs them back love your pastor honor your pastor if he's not a businessman look for a businessman and listen to him hallelujah finally the third cost is the physical cost if you're angry with me that's a sign that god is working on you seriously you know i won't stop no way physical cost the third one it takes diligence and work not necessarily hard work but work to bring forth extraordinary accomplishments look at me everybody say laziness say one more time laziness for the last time laziness is not my portion in jesus name 
if you want to accomplish things supernaturally extraordinary accomplishments three things must suffer momentarily in your life number one your time number two your energy number three your resources the proof of love the clearest proof of love is the investment of time you must have time for anything you love or you consider serious enough how much time are you putting on ground how much energy energy everybody say energy see great people in life are workaholics are you hearing me they work their life out until they enter that realm of greatness praise god i've been ministering in the last three weeks traveling ministering doing a lot of things but it does not stop me from doing the things i have to do hallelujah from this place i have another trip again traveling up and down yet you must give your energy everybody say energy some of you like sleep once it's 9 30 you're already nodding even if you are talking with somebody you just do like this and the next thing you are sleeping no no if you love sleep you will kill your, your future your legs inside cold water and said my eyes you can sleep if you want to sleep but my life must move forward if you make that determination no devil in existence will stop you physical efforts there are some of us who are lazy you hate pain you hate anything discomforting you you hate embarrassment right now as i'm talking you're feeling embarrassed why are you embarrassing us every great man in life is one who has been able to kill embarrassment where you open up your heart and say flog me just lash it let it come to build me many of us have lived in a place where everybody has lied to us either because you are a pretty lady or you are a handsome guy everything you do is right i tell you the truth if what you are doing is wrong i will tell you change Proverbs 14 verse 23. We'll look at a few scriptures and we'll pray. Your destiny must move forward in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 14 verse 23. Let's read together. One to read. In all what? In all labor there is profit. But the talk of the lips. Cheap talk. There are many people that talk 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 but the bible says in all labor put your talk to work in all labor there is profit but the talk of the leaves tended to what penury back your talk with tremendous efforts and tell yourself no matter what it will cost me say in the name of jesus no matter what it will cost me I am prepared to pay the price to be the best in my field in the area God has called me I will be outstanding I will pay the price the price of time the price of energy the price of my resources some of you are on scholarship students a few of you God is blessing you 50,000 or 75,000 or your five or ten thousand is coming every time you get it you are always running to the restaurant every time you get it boys it don't land you can't be great that way you can't be great that way so you create a momentary feeling of being successful why don't you pay the price and create the real one stop pretending like you are there when you are not there if your capacity has not reached for indomie take gary and use them I, I, are you following me now if your capacity has not reached for baked beans get the normal one shake off all those things from it and cook it give it thanks knowing that it will change there are too many people living fake lives fake lives you create an impression you do not have the resources to defend 
somebody comes you see my watch now you say i must buy this kind of watch you go and pack your whole finances and frustrate yourself and you are suffering alone and god will say so it when you buy it and that's frustration for you see let me tell you say after me there is time for everything say it be careful what you covet about people and don't put yourself under pressure you don't need to prove a point to anybody if you have only one trouser that has torn sew it honorably and wear it let the people laugh very well so that when you become great they won't they won't say it's magic they saw you some of you will charter a car from samaru to sabo you say i'm, I'm in a hurry hurry for what 250 naira that you can buy a book you have not gotten to that level be patient the jeep will come nobody is arguing it but it won't come now pay the price sister you will buy the human hair for now use what is available use what is available Don't carry 10,000 and spend it and you're just moving around fake lives use that that resource to build yourself say amen. amen if your own has not reached for shagalinku go to zinc house go to com market go anywhere be honorable about it there was a time it was zinc house we used to go to that was that was our level and let me tell you in all sincerity even at that level we were better than a lot of people by that means it's just that we decided to push our lives down because we knew there was there were higher jobs. There are many of you. If you get one million today, today, you will buy a car of seven hundred thousand, a phone of one hundred and fifty thousand, and a suit of hundred thousand. That's all. And you just come and then give a testimony. Say the heavens open, and I'm here. My car is there. My suit is here. From that day, you start suffering. Nothing else about your life. Stop pretending it. You will get there one day. For now, invest in yourself. waste your time you think people are looking at you let me tell you they are not looking at you they have enough problems in their lives to face don't deceive yourself they are not looking at you at all they have serious issues about their own lives proverbs 10 verse 4 we're rounding up proverbs 10 verse 4 he become poor that deals with what? A slack, a lazy, a slothful hand. He said, but the hand of the diligent will do what? The hand of the diligent will bless him. And with that resource, he will be able to do big things for the kingdom. Next scripture. Proverbs 12 verse 24. <speaking in Hebrew> The hand of the diligent again god see scriptures about hands about hands the hand of the diligent shall bear rule in other words shall lead the hand of the diligent will take him above he will take charge he will dominate he will break records he will set the pace but the slothful hand shall be made to pay a price shall be under tribute one last scripture proverbs 20 verse 4 Above all. the sluggard will not plow and what is his excuse there is cold therefore shall he do what therefore shall he do what now is the time to sow many people let me tell you thank god you are hearing this now because there are people who think you are wasting your time i promise you they will pray in tongues and still beg in the days to come it's not a false prophecy it's the truth about life many of the great people in this country are the classmates of some of our parents true or false where were our parents when they were paying the price and they get angry when they see them this is what happens to poor people when they don't pay the price and they see others that go ahead see every time you accomplish supernatural things 
you create an effect that agitates people because of the frustration you respond to critics not by replying by producing more results are you ready to take your life from where it is to the next dimension I've shown you how these are keys your eatery can be the best God didn't lie when he spoke to you are you hearing me your business can be the best your ministry can be the best your life that book can be a bestseller you just need to find out find out from those whose books have been bestsellers you wrote your book it was great but it was not a bestseller yet find out God has told you that he's putting the word of the Lord in your mouth and you will be a prophet to the nations as it is nobody knows you go and get this spiritual capital of the anointing pay the price and I tell you if if I were a prophet if that God called me into the prophetic ministry I would have done things that would shock people many people are not ready to pay the price everything is available but there is a price tag on it if you can pay it carry it the best car in the world is still on sale if you have the money today you can go and order it nobody will stop you all the packages in life according to the measure of grace and your sacrifice and ability every time i stand before koinonia i don't see see let me tell you a time will come the people you see today will be the ushers in eni just the ushers because i know there is a world dying that cannot resist the solution we are bringing impossible our job is to contend for greater grace oh my god i'm a success hallelujah i have the capital of the anointing i have the holy spirit the wisdom of god in me and i will pay that price rise up on your feet i bring you words of comfort it will not always remain like this your life will change lift your voice and begin to pray in tongues supernatural accomplishments extraordinary accomplishments like Uzziah make sure you are praying you are shining like the brightness of the firmament you may start from Zaria but I see you going far don't say I cannot get here walk by the principles they will open you up to those gates the nation will stand and give you an ovation the nations will reward your sacrifice inspire yourself I cannot be a failure and David encouraged himself hallelujah very quickly we are going to break three prayer points first is your spiritual life how many of you know the anointing is capital I've shared it with you now the anointing can make somebody come and sow a seed in your life that your your business for for 10 years cannot give I why are you neglecting it and one river came out of Eden it parted itself into dimensions you are going to pray say Lord I value your presence I value your anointing that anointing I take it like a capital lift your voice and pray hallelujah the anointing my head is exalted 
like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil power to heal the sick power to deliver the oppressed accessing the spirit that will give me a seat among the great I refuse to be an ordinary preacher I'm full of the Holy Ghost walking in signs and wonders that will confound men I'm stepping into deep dimensions of power of grace I respect your anointing I respect your anointing oh God pray you need the capital of the anointing you need the capital of the Holy Ghost the greatest gift and the Bible says the gift of a man the gift of the Holy Ghost the gift of the anointing they told Jesus all men seek for thee all men seek for thee rich men seek for thee blessed people seek for you because of what you carry if you carry grace they will look for you if you carry power they will look for you if you carry unction they will look for you if you carry fire they will look for you they will invite you they will sow into your life they will bless you my spiritual life I receive your fire oh God it's not a waste it's a glorious investment that will separate you regardless of your lineage regardless of your barrier regardless of any factor there is a world dying out there they need the anointing they are willing to honor it they are willing to invest in it they are willing to reward it when you become anointed you will be above Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. During my birthday, I was amazed at all the gifts that I got from people all around this nation and even from people outside of this nation. Many who have been blessed by the grace. Anointing is capital. Get this revelation. When you pay the price, if you get authentic grace, there are hardly any families that invite me today that may not package something. There are some of you right now, you came here, you left different places, you package seeds, some gifts in kind, in cash, you are waiting for the grace to sow. Years ago, you were still alive, but you did not come to me because there was no grace. That means if I increase the grace, a time will come, I will start attracting a kind of people anointing is capital hear me he said because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows I hardly pay for things in my life right now I hardly pay for anything because everybody is scrounging to pay something for me that's what the anointing can do in your life stop struggling go for the anointing go for grace go for fire go for power and see the way to raise you all other factors notwithstanding there are people who would never listen to me but they have been compelled by the power of his presence upon my life my age notwithstanding it has opened doors for me my age notwithstanding my level of exposure notwithstanding do you know that the anointing is capital it can end inferiority in your life when you have something men will come to drink of it he said gentiles will come to my life prayer point number two you're going to say lord i've been intellectually lazy i don't buy books i don't read but i repent this night and I begin to build myself. I study by books. Lift your voice and pray. 
Lord, I go for books. I go for tapes. I sit down with relevant materials along the area that I'm trusting life to break forth for me. Shatatatatabaka. Koinonia pray. Koinonia pray. He said, then shall your life break forth. Then shall your life break forth. The power of information. If you know what to do, greatness is yours for the taking. If you know what to do, and Uzziah invented engines. Pray. My mind is blessed. I am not God. Pray. I study books. I buy exercise books. I study every day. I sit under mentors. I sit under men that carry the things I need. Whether in business, whether in leadership, there are men who have gone ahead already. Listen to them. Receive mentorship from them through books, through tapes. Prophesy to yourself. I'm an extraordinary leader. I'm an extraordinary entrepreneur. I'm an extraordinary business businessman. I will shake this country with my ideas. I will shake this country. Go ahead and prophesy. I will do what has not been done before. I will create a new ways in the financial world, in the labor world, in the IT world, in the art world. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. Last prayer point. Look at me. Last prayer point. You're going to pray and ask the Lord. You're going to say, Lord, give me such grace that I will not be afraid of pain and embarrassment. These two things. If you can conquer pain and you can conquer embarrassment, I salute you because you must be a world champion. Pain, embarrassment, these two things. If you are still conscious of pain, whether in the cold, whether in the rain, you will invest time, you will invest energy, you will invest resources. Lift your voice and pray. Let pain, oh God, not be an issue for your people. May they know no pain. May they know no pain. May they be men fearless, men strong, men of grace, men of audacity. Men of audacity who will pop their eyes, their hands in the eyes of the enemy. Men of faith, fearless, courageous, strong. Prophesy. Say, I can make it. I can make it. Yes. I can burn that idea. those who have survived much pain. Great men are those who have survived what ordinary men cannot survive. Great men are men who have endured. Great men are men who have tried and didn't stop. They fell, didn't stop. They were weak, didn't stop until they emerged as champions. Hallelujah. I speak a message of hope. Some of you are like Samson. Hear me. For whatever reason, your hair has been cut. Some, even your eyes have been plucked. And your family members are laughing at you to scorn. But I tell you something. When Samson stood near those pillars, his hair began to grow again. The Bible says, is there hope for a tree, although it be cut short? 
I bring you a word of hope. If the devil hit you and he did not hit you from the root, he only wasted his time. Because God will take that as a pruning and he will shoot you above and beyond. Hallelujah. So get books. Get tapes. Get serious. You know any of your friend that is not serious? Don't criticize them. Encourage them in love. For many of you who Satan is using your yesterday against you, right now, I silence the voice of that accuser of the brethren because the Bible says that judgment has been declared upon him. Your mistakes of yesterday cannot follow you into your tomorrow. There is a brand new day. You can rise again. You can glow again. You are still that champion. Nothing is missing. Nothing is broken. The miracle is not in what you have lost. The miracle is in what you have left. If you have ears to hear and two legs to walk again, you will fall again. You will become a mighty tree. Hallelujah. Medicine is, is a fragrance of his mercy reaching earth. Like, like I, 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 I wear perfume and when I pass, whatever your nose can receive, you enjoy it for that moment. But what if I gave you the bottle? No, 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 please, I don't downplay medicine, but I want you to understand this. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe the sick can be healed. I believe lives can change. I believe that what is not can become. In the twinkling of an eye, I believe it. Otherwise, we are gathered here for a waste of time. I really believe it. Ah! I believe it. I believe that something that is missing can return back. Everything is alive. I believe I am a miracle myself I'm not just a recipient of miracles I am a miracle this man that stands before you is a real miracle so I know that miracles are real please don't get used to pain don't get used to the tragedies of life expect that God can invade this life let me tell you a miracle that happened to me we were in Lagos for young and yielded and then I ministered I ministered in the church that we always use their auditorium and something strange happened while I was counseling a man came who um, of course I'm sure he could understand English but he felt comfortable speaking in Yoruba and he came and sat close to me and started talking in Yoruba. You know, just assumed. And now he was an elderly man. This is something that happened last week. I didn't know. I said, now how do I respectfully tell this man, sorry, sir, I'm not exactly Yoruba. And the guy was talking to me. And the next thing that happened was I started understanding exactly what he was saying. The, the, this is not a lie. The same way you preach and someone is interpreting. I was hearing what he was saying. Then I was responding to him in English and then he would take the first one, take the second one. We were done and I prayed for him. Immediately I, I finished praying for him. That was it. You, I will not be able to hear anything again. Where have you kept God? Oh. Where have you kept God? Where have we reduced the God of heaven to? Please listen, 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 listen man himself is a miracle everything happens on earth it's just that we don't take our time to ponder i believe in the supernatural it is the way god reaches men what is not becomes that means it is possible for someone who has no business calling you to call you why should you wonder it is the lord's doing let it only be marvelous in your eyes
while you are listening to me let the holy ghost speak to you take away the unbelief dear ones take away the unbelief there is a god that sits in heaven that god is not a man god is not an archangel god is not angel michael he's not a senior brother to the angels he's the creator of the heavens and the earth Are we together? Hmm. The supernatural. A generation that does not believe the supernatural is the generation that will truly miss God experientially. Okay. We need to trust God for grace. This is one of the benefits of things like praying in the spirit to take you out of this mundane realm of carnality where we always we believe that things must happen by science alone no sir there is a god in heaven by this time tomorrow there is a god in heaven the rod of aaron that did not have a root to the earth can still bring forth fruit it is true These have been my contemplation, so not just today. It's been in my heart. You can, you can see the passion with which I'm communicating. A generation is losing the essence of the reality of the power of God. The ministry of the anointing is gradually being lost. And when I say the ministry of the anointing, I'm not talking of flying up and down, falling down. The ability to demonstrate the existence of God who sits in the heaven. This has nothing to do with being an apostle or a prophet. Is how far God can reach to men. For I spoke a word, you see. You have been so, so good to me. I don't know the song, but I like the song. This is the part of the song I love. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, the chance is beyond, my still outcome, is denied in life. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it. The supernatural is a demonstration of God's love. He knows that you already got born again at 40. When will you know God to become great? Already you are late. You are late already. So the dimension of his supernatural can bring mercy, can bring favor, jump, and accelerate your life and push you forward. Otherwise, why is he God? Please believe what I'm saying. God knows that he called you into ministry. And he knows the people he's sending you to. He knows the stubbornness in their heart. That until they see miraculous signs, they won't come. So he, listen. He's not going to send you just with a sermon. No. How then will you demonstrate and defend what he sent you? Moses said, what will, who will I tell Pharaoh sent me? The power of God. Let us be a generation that can believe the power of God. That when God says I can lift you, you believe it. When God says I can anoint you, you believe it. When God says I can turn your life around, you believe it. Please hear me. What more do you need to see to know that natural things don't count very much in this realm? You have to be outstanding by an agency that is not human. John 4.48 Except 
except ye see miraculous signs you will not believe jesus himself said it except you see it there is a demonstration of the hand and the might of god that must rest upon us and rest upon our generation why will you write your prayer request if it will not be answered why should you travel i'm aware that some of us have been here right a number of people that i ministered to in abuja followed me here there are people who have come from all over there's a pastor you're the one who came from ukraine from ukraine all the way for heaven's sake why will you come and watch a man am i a, a comedian this is not an amusement park oh there is a god that sits in heaven please hear me there is a god that sits in heaven that can speak that can lift that can turn a man's life around shake that unbelief shake that unbelief get it out of your life and believe that god is able to turn a man's life around Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. tell you one of the major things that I know God is going to be doing tonight is healing the sick there are mysterious diseases that are coming and latching upon people you see people dying for diseases and sicknesses with no name it's, it's like headache but it's not headache it's like chest pain but it's not chest pain it's like asthma but it's not asthma it's like a lump but it's not a lump it's like a growth but it's not a growth whatever it is we know it's an oppression of the devil please sit down let me finish up and then we'll pray so by the ministry of the anointing number two how blessings manifest the second dimension is by the impartation of wisdom and understanding the second way that the word becomes flesh is that the lord by his spirit will impart upon a man the spirit of wisdom and understanding there are certain results that don't need the supernatural as it were they just need an awareness of the laws of god and the fortitude to walk in accordance with those principles there are dimensions that doesn't just need an event the power of God is coming on two people outside two people outside please bring them here two people outside I started sensing a very mighty grace ah, tonight will be a great night of impartation please bring them here just listen to the word the lord will do a quick work two people i see like rain the rain of the spirit is about to be drenched for i spoke a word ali baru please bring them the Lord is saying I'm shifting you both of you that you are entering a dimension of the favor of God this is what I'm seeing you came here to contact the grace 
that will bring you into a strange realm of favor and I declare by the spirit of grace that everything that is not of the Christ over your lives and destinies this is miracle service it must bow to the name and the Lordship of Jesus Shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming down to me. And then we'll pray the third way that the word becomes flesh that possibilities get to you is through the ministry of men 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 men are god's conduits they communicate possibilities most of the favor that you need is already in the hands of a man you need the ministry of men i don't just mean the prophetic ministry of men you need the giving ministry of men you need the lifting ministry of men you need the endorsing ministry of men Please tonight let your expectation be high. God will not disappoint you. The word becomes flesh. The word becomes a testimony. When the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon that situation, the word becomes a testimony when you are given spiritual illumination wisdom understanding the fortitude to comprehend spiritual things then the word becomes flesh when men are introduced in your life men are carriers of possibilities not just spiritual possibilities there are men that have the wealth to give you there are men that have the endorsement the leverage their credibility is an asset they can bring it upon your life and turn your life Everything that we seek for in this place tonight comes under these three categories. There are matters that only the anointing can solve tonight. There are matters that the quickening of the spirit providing illumination will channel you to solve. But there are things that men, 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 men given by God. Listen, when the man at Get Beautiful met Peter and John, he didn't say such as in is in heaven he says such as i have there are things men have please hear me there are things that men have and they can give it there are things that men have and they can give it a man can have a car and give you the key to the car a man can have but you see the things that men have real blessings are not physical when a man gives you anything physical, it's not really a blessing. It's just a donation. Real blessings are spiritual. All the sons of Abraham, he gave them physical gifts. But to Isaac, he gave him the blessing. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are going to do a quick walk tonight. But I trust God to heal the sick. This, 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 there is a grace today 
to, to damage all kinds of infirmity. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all. Healing all. They that were oppressed of the devil. Tonight, you will lift up that report, that threat that stands before the God of heaven. There are many of us here, I believe, who are in ministry. We may not exactly have needs. Tonight is also a night of impartation. Listen, an impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. It can be transferred. You can carry something back that you did not come with. You can carry a grace that while you were in the car coming, it was not yet in your life. And your results will show what has been introduced in your life. Are we together? Please rise up, lift up your voice in one minute and declare, Lord, I believe. I believe. I'm a believer tonight. Everywhere, outside, inside, pray. Diligently seek the rewarder, the healer, the lifter. I want to pray. Please listen. Listen. Please don't get used to the ritual of what is done here. It is not just a ritual to pray, have people fall under the anointing. Be sensitive to what God is doing everywhere. But be sensitive to what he is doing in you, around you. Be sensitive to the graces you are receiving. Be sensitive to the prophecy that is coming upon you. Be sensitive to the things that are changing. Be sensitive to the mantles that are resting upon you. Be sensitive to what is happening. Be sensitive to the speakings of the Spirit. So I, I don't want you to get used to the, the, the ritual. Oh, you are about to see people in front. No, 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 no. Let your heart be open. There is a God in heaven and he's the lifter of men. Please hear me. You are a visitor here coming. You are welcome. We'll acknowledge you later on. But please insist that you did not waste your time to come for nothing. Please. I know you have heard and I know you came for an experience. Many of us have inconvenienced ourselves not under the best of conditions to be here. Please don't waste your stay. Let your heart be open to carry something tangible. Hallelujah. Satan is behind many predicaments of our lives. Satan is behind many of the ills that continue to happen. Please let me have your attention because I want to pray now. And the power of God, listen please. As I begin to pray, there are people here. You see, God may not necessarily, don't worry, it's okay. Excuse me, that's all right. Leave the seats, please. There are people here who are sincere people, even believers. But your life and destiny is under the strange influence of the operation of darkness. The Bible says many things happen in Mount Zion. And one of it is that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Please, I like you to believe. This is no ordinary prayer. Remember, it is the Spirit and the Bride that is talking. You are only seeing the Bride, but it's the Spirit and the Bride. I'm about to pray. And I want you to please believe. 
because everything that does not represent Christ must go today now A few weeks ago I had an encounter and the Holy Spirit told me you are about to experience a new lifting in your authority in the spirit listen please this is the first time I'll be sharing it and I saw every time I see it this is what I see I see like a badge in the spirit a promotion and that the Lord said, I will put power upon your lips in another dimension that as you declare, you will see it happen. It's, this thing is a grace. It's a grace. It is not every time a man declares with power. There are times that you declare with authority. It's an office. Let me pray. Thank you, Jesus. There is a very serious deliverance that is about to happen. And please, I want you to bring the people in front. I'm seeing yokes. I'm telling you, I'm seeing real bondages. God has anointed this place to be a place of liberty. Right now I declare by the spirit of the Christ. And I decree and declare. That in the name of Jesus. At the count of three I want you to shout that name that is above every other name. And except God is not God. Any planting that is not of the Christ. Over your life and your destiny. I speak by the grace of God almighty that he must let you go now one two three shout jesus bring them out bring them out in the name of jesus i command devils i command spirits yokes that have tied down the destinies of men be gone now by the spirit of the Christ the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit go now release every destiny 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 release every destiny, release every destiny. I decree and declare the Bible says even the captives, the lawful captives shall be delivered. Therefore I declare that every legal access upon which the devil is holding on to anyone's destiny right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be delivered now. 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 I command closed doors be open. Closed doors be open. Right now, be open. Closed by the hand of darkness. I declare be open. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh hey, hey. Yahweh Oh yeah yeah hey. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh hey. Yahweh The Lord is showing me chains over people's heads. 
I decree and declare anyone here under any kind of yoke at the count of three inside outside online I want you to shout that name again it's not a ritual done out of unbelief there is force and power in the name one two three every orchestration go now be loose now be loose now in the name of Jesus be loose by the authority of Jesus by the authority of Jesus by the authority of Jesus the Lord is showing me people who have been at the same level for many years there is nothing you do in time that moves you forward in the name of Jesus I'm seeing fire just rising from my limbs I'm about to pray that prayer anyone who has been kept at the same position right now by the anointing of the spirit I declare that limitation broken now broken now help them broken now broken now broken now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah right away i want to pray against barrenness i'm sensing the grace don't wait till you are married if there is anyone here by the spirit of god by whatever means your womb has been closed by the authority of heaven i declare right now i'm seeing the anointing coming on a number of people married or unmarried let that womb be open now be open now be open now I tell you the anointing of God is coming on people whether you are married or not some of you are standing in for your loved ones I declare again womb be open now be open now be open now be open now I command every devil ah, I'm seeing such I'm still seeing people's feet tied like a chain around the feet of people right now I decree and declare every chain holding anyone now in the name of Jesus I break those chains now I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. If you have any abdominal pain, lay your hands right now. Lay your hands just on your stomach. Any kind of abdominal pain. Doesn't matter whether it's a fibroid, doesn't matter whatever. Just lay your hands here right now. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare right now the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon your stomach area. And in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle right now. Let there be a miracle right now. I'm seeing a number in the realm of the Spirit 21. And the Lord is saying an anointing is coming on those people and that grace is for direction you are at a point in your life where you are confused you honestly don't know what to do but right now i stretch my hands 21 i see it in the realm of the spirit right now let the anointing of the spirit bring in direction ending confusion receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now direction 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 in ministry direction in business direction geographic direction receive it in the name of jesus
I want to pray for speed. I'm going to continue praying for speed until I see it manifest. Now, please hear me. Because of what happens when I pray for speed, the ushers are limited. Make sure that you protect anyone because people will start running up and down. That grace for speed must find expression. I will continue to pray it until you leave your current level. I stretch my hands by the privilege of God's grace and I declare, I don't know what has caused delay, but the mantle that commands speed right now at the count of three, Koinonia, hear me. One, two, three, receive speed. Speed, speed, speed in your destiny. Speed. Do in one month what one year could not do. Do in one month what five years could not do. Do in one month in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're trying to conserve time. There is a lot to do. Who is Janet? I'm hearing a name, Janet. 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 All those who are in front under the anointing here, I command the devils that have oppressed you. This is the house of God. Right now at the count of three, release them. Release everything you have tied down. One two three go go now every strange spirit go now go now now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty janet i'm hearing a name janet hold on please don't don't be rowdy just relax stand up my dear that lady on green stand up where are you coming from Huh? you are from Kaduna State relax, calm down, I want to pray for you listen, God is not just calling names at random I want to pray for you you can expect that there will be so many genets the power of God is coming on one of you right now one of you as I'm, I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you right now it's, it's not something you can stand the power of God we're going to have to do a quick work because we want to take out time and minister to the sick in the name that is above all names I decree and declare there's one of you the anointing of the spirit let's just walk that instruction first in the name of Jesus I decree and declare on all of you I may not have time to prophesy one by one but every barrier that stands between you and the next level I declare let it go now I curse it by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is coming on a lady just where this my brothers are standing bring that person just this row I'm seeing a cloud just right here right now as I'm speaking the anointing of the Spirit is coming on one person there please bring the person is a lady bring her Janet I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ hi this is an instruction God is giving me there is a family I'm seeing the family it's a whole pattern nobody marries no matter what happens i'm about to pray the power of god is coming on that one person for the sake of the family please i want you to believe and receive i declare that marital delay this is the instruction god is giving me break now break now break now Break now. The Lord is opening my eyes. And in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing the map of Benway State. 
an anointing is coming right now on Benway. God is bringing a miracle. I release my, I stretch my hands and I declare a miracle right now. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. Benway stage, Benway stage, Benway stage. I cause the workings of darkness over that territory in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The Lord is taking me to a neighboring state. I'm literally seeing myself in Kogi state. And the Lord is saying he's breaking witchcraft. I don't know who are those who are from there. But I stretch my hands. Kogi state. May that anointing come upon anyone associated with that territory. That is under the yoke of bondage. Be free now. Be free now. Kogi state. Be free now. Be free now. God does these things that men will fear him. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Something is leaving you. This is what I'm seeing. For you and for your family members. Let that devil never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. My hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. I'm hearing a name Agnes prophecy takes a lot of time so we'll just minimize it so that I'm hearing the name Agnes 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 I'm hearing that name please very quickly because I want to take out time and God is visiting three families at Overflow 2. Overflow 2. The overflow by the roadside. I just saw an anointing. Just like fire. Three families. Three families. By the spirit of the living God. Agnes. Who is Agnes? You are Agnes. You are Agnes. Your sister. No, you are not here for your sister. You are here for yourself. Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, this spirit must let you go. There is a very violent spirit that, that is attempting to take advantage of this lady's life. I declare now by the spirit of God, the covenant and the ordinance that authorizes you in the life of this lady comes under judgment now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that violent devil must let you go now even by the spirit of the there is no hiding place in the name of Jesus there is no hiding place for the unfruitful works of darkness I curse you by the God of heaven and I declare you must let her go alongside everything you have planted in her life in the name of Jesus Christ just hold her there I'm going to hold your hand it's a strange mystery I'm going to hold your hand but the person who will fall is on this road bring the person for me in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare just don't worry leave the baby 
the person who will fall is not this lady is on this row like this this row right to the back in the mighty name of jesus i declare by the spirit of the living god that everything that does not name the name of christ right now i command it must go in the name of jesus christ it must go by the grace of god i set you free my dear in the name of jesus let me pray for you father there is please don't be embarrassed we may not prophesy to everyone but there is a woman here don't be embarrassed you just had a miscarriage usually i would not ask you to come but the lord is asking to come out who is that person please there is a yoruba family that is under a very strange attack under a strange attack i'm praying right now i don't know where they are but i'm going to pray for you by the spirit please don't confuse the cases so that i can minister to them in the name of jesus i pray for that family is a yoruba family from Quara State, Yoruba family from Quara State. I'm seeing it by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. That family is here, or anyone who represents that family, I declare freedom right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my dear, that everything that is not the planting of the Lord, the hand of God is upon you. And the Lord is saying in the seasons that come, you are going to start having visitations. There is a visitation that God is bringing. And that visitation is preparing you for where he is taking you to. And the Lord is saying that you'll be faithful. In the name of Jesus, I declare it so, even by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you step into that level and that dimension. You are the woman with the miscarriage. You are married. Please don't feel, I hope you are not embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, huh? Because that's the same way you will come here and testify. Listen, God is not going to embarrass you for nothing. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you this. This is one big family and we're intelligent people. We will never come and just embarrass someone like that. If there's anything that looks embarrassing, just know that these things um, are spiritual. My dear, that young lady, go in. Come, lift your hands. God is not done with you yet. Huh? This is, this is, you would have left this girl now. She would have probably just gone like that. Um, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, take what you put in her dream life. Let it live now. Take what you put inside her through the dream. Miscarriage. Please come. Please don't feel embarrassed. This is a family. Did I pray for you? Did I pray for you? It's all right. If I prayed for you, just go back. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go and return with your child according to the time of life. No more miscarriage whatsoever. In the name of Jesus, you will return with child according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, please place your hand in the name of Jesus. Return with child. Return with child in the name of Jesus. There is someone here, you are in ministry. I've not done the impartation yet, but I'm seeing an anointing come on you. And this is for your ministry. There is a level of expansion that you have been praying for. And God is about to answer that prayer. I stretch my hands. I don't know where that person is. But in the name that is above all names, may that anointing, like a mighty rushing wind, in the name of Jesus. There's someone here, God, this night, is giving you a ministry to teenagers. An anointing is coming on you, your ministry will be to teenagers i don't know where that person is but lord i stretch my hands right now may that man to find the person 
in the name of Jesus I bet that ministry by the Spirit I bet that ministry by the hand of God inside here outside I declare in the name of Jesus let there be a better I draw from the bowels of prophecy and I declare that ministry is better tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God your sister and you why is she here miscarriage are you married you're sure in the name of Jesus place your hand there I agree with you every plague of miscarriage goes now in the name of Jesus Christ according to the time of life return with your child in the name of Jesus Christ your sister where is she Abuja tell her that she was prayed for and she should respect a miracle in the name of Jesus I declare you're standing in for her but I declare the power of God is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there are four people who are receiving the mantle for prayer and intercession now I know that it's, it's, a, it's a grace we will all desire but there are four exact people four exact people some inside some outside Lord I don't know where they are but that grace a dimension of the intercessory ministry capacity to travel by the spirit in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah why is she here come where are you from Kaduna, how long have you been married? Last year. Last year. Yes, sir. Madam, you came out here for miscarriage, but what God is dealing with is more than miscarriage, huh? We'll pray for you. Where's your husband? Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing him here. Yes, sir. Is he here? Yes, sir. Where is he? Husband? Please come. Is the man here? How are you, my friend? Stand up. God is about to change your life. I don't know you. What do you do, sir? Um, Where? I'm up in Kaduna. Kaduna. I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from a district. There is a grace. Please hear me. What? What? Where do you work? I work with the Alliance. There are two things I'm seeing. One, I'm seeing real estate. Number two, I'm seeing distribution. Distribution of things. Go and write them down and pray over them. This is where your money is. This is where the grace of God. You hear what I'm telling you? You see, sometimes God will not violate your will. You can choose to do anything you do. But because of the openness of your heart, he will give you direction. The Lord is my shepherd, he says, I shall not want. So when God directs you, he will take away want and lack from you. And that's why I said this is more than just the issue of barrenness or whatever it is. Huh? We'll pray for you. And madam, I want to stop the dreams. Dreams. Huh? I have to pray for you. Sometimes you don't share them. But there are dreams that are oppressions. A lot of oppressions. I want to pray for you. This will end in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. This is July, August, September. By October, write it down. Your life will change. <laughs> Do you know what just entered you? You didn't just fall under the anointing. You see, my, my brother, the realm of the spirit, what is on you is what controls what is around you. Don't worry, I'm going to pray for you. It's the grace for favor that came on you. Amen. And I declare and I prophesy over you by the Spirit of God. These three months, may your life change in a way that will surprise you. Amen. 
the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, put your hand in your, on your stomach. According to the time of life, huh? in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing something like a rope being loosed from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. Listen, you will come with your wife and stand here. Look at their faces and remember them. So that the day they come and stand is, is not to glorify a man. It is to show that God, oh, God is still alive. Huh? I lose this in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will return with a strange miracle amen. in the name of jesus christ amen and amen sir can i talk to you please this man yes sir where are you coming from sir kaduna, kaduna. i don't know you is it all right if i pray for you i want to pray for you three things number one i want to pray that sickness will not take you to the grave amen. i'm not a prophet of doom this is our our prophet i want to pray for you that's number one Number two, I want to pray for you that everything that is yours that has not been released, let it come to you. Does it make sense what I'm telling yes, you? Sir. Yes, sir. I will pray for you. This is one of the reasons why you are here. I want to pray. It will surprise you the way God will release all kinds of financial blessings to come to you. And then number three, there is a man from Lagos that God is going to connect you with. God is going to use that man to turn your life around. I don't know what you do, but please, I want you to mark this. But the most important prophecy is sickness. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing that this thing is an attack. It will start one morning. You just stand up and they will say you are behaving as if you are talking to yourself and you are having memory loss. It's of the devil we must pray. Madam, come. God is about to change your life. Because you are praying and you are saying God should tell me to speak to you. Is that true? Yes, sir. Stand here. I'm, I'm standing here and I'm hearing your prayer. Yes, sir. And you are saying the Lord should, that should visit yes, you, that you did not come from far for yes, nothing. Sir. Where did you come from? Yola, sir. Come. Where are the other two people? We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. I congratulate you in the name of Jesus because your life will change in a very remarkable way. Madam, I want to pray for you. Look at me. Stand up, my friend. Why by the life here? Who is sick? Madam, I want to pray for you. You see, ba, when prophecy is used well, I'm seeing this woman, your right breast. Huh? If I don't pray for you, yeah. you're going to start having what looks like a goat. <laughs> and it will later become cancer. Because oh, I'm looking at this woman. Jesus. No, don't worry, madam. I'm, don't be afraid. I'm looking at this woman on the bed and just whine. And they say, what is this? What happened to this woman? Jesus. Madam. You did not leave Adamawa State to come here to waste your time. Yes, no. Sir. I vowed a vow and prayed a prayer that never should there be a time when I will have the opportunity to minister and the people say, oh, it was just like before. Never, 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 never. That everyone encounter will leave a deposit of God in your life. Hallelujah. Sir. I want to pray for you. He's, where is he coming from? Adam Awatu. I need to pray. There is bad luck in your life. Come, you are a very nice man, but please stand up. Please stand up. I, don't cry. Oh, yeah. oh dear. You see, but let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, sometimes people are carrying pain. Oh. You just see people laugh and praise the Lord. That, that is a dance of faith. It's just a, a joy of faith because I'm looking at this man 
you will not believe what this man has gone through is that true what do you do sir I'm alone, bro. washing with his hand yes. this is what i'm saying this man guy oh dear this man is supposed to be connected to a politician in Adamawa state this is this man's destiny based on what the lord is showing me his name is Zechariah. Yes, he's presenting Mitch Kamadagali. This is what I'm telling you. Just listen, let me prophesy to you. I'm seeing that this man's destiny is supposed to be with a member, and yet he's doing. Now, I'm not saying laundry is an insult, but the way he's doing it, this is not a blessing. Um, I don't know what happened. We had a good relationship. And just of a sudden, he changed. He changed. No, he did not change. Somebody told him huh, that they can use you to kill him. And that he has, it's not only you. I'm not a pro, don't go around fighting anybody. Huh? That this man one day will kill him. They were saying, Honorable Kayankali, be careful. Don't allow people to just come around you like that who already know you because the enemy within is outside that's why he lost relationship with you and cut everything away you see let me tell you my brothers and my sisters god reveals this thing to tell you this world we live in is not a playground if you don't sustain spiritual intelligence look at how may your enemies not get to the gates before you That the counsel of Ahitophel can turn a man's destiny. And this man, it's not that he's using a laundry to washing clothes like, a, like an animal. Sir, you have come here for God to change your life. And I'm praying for you by the God of heaven, the one who put this miracle service together. Let things change now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare favor upon your life. Let things turn around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? English house, I speak anyone. <laughs> Divide visitation in every area of my family. I will pray for I you. I want male children. <laughs> oh, he lives. You have female children. I have two. And you want a male. Allergies. Yes, I need male children. <laughs> That's what, uh, there's a reason why I shifted the mic. I don't want you to say what you're about to say loud, huh? Because one day your husband will be changed and he will hear this, this miracle service message. It's true. I want to pray for you. You see, please let me advise us. It's God that gives children. And, and I don't mean to insult anyone, but please, let's be careful. This issue of give me male children, give me female children, otherwise you are not this i mean it's even better to come to a man of god to pray for you than to antagonize your wife or husband there is a culture of the kingdom listen when we get born again the values the value system of the kingdom the spirit life must be at work in us in as much as i know sincerely that it is beneficial to have children male and female when our people are getting married i pray for them that god will give them children male and female but you cannot antagonize your wife or your husband and say give me male children female children of course i understand i'm, I'm an african because of issues of inheritance and other things but we have to be careful whatever god has not given you you cannot have it and if you go to the devil to have it let me tell you the consequence will be waiting for you are we together madam look at me do you believe if i pray for you yes, you will come here with a male child yes sir madam what did you see me doing for you in a dream sir you declare he lives upon my life and you say it is done listen number one number one yes, god is bringing favor to your yes, life sir. number two you will stand on this very altar with a male child. Amen. I want you to believe it. Amen. You believe that? Amen. Hold my hands. Father, please turn the life of this woman. In the name of Jesus, let it please you to open her womb and give her a male child. 
and we agree we receive that your husband is born again and he's walking in the ways of God in the name of Jesus madam the Lord is going to connect you with some a woman from Maiduguri where are you from I'm from Adama. We have together. She's my okay sister. I'm going to pray for you a, a woman she does textile and clothing kaya cloth this woman will bless you in a way that it will look like it's a charm yeah. believe what I'm telling you father I decree and declare surprise these people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I bless you God changes your life in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you mama that mama with blue come Who came from Kano? From where? From Air Force Base. Air Force Base. This is your husband. Yes. What do you want God to do for him? Don't cry. You know, I preached a message here and I said, God can do it, Abby, madam. Mm. Since 2005. Yes. No child. No messes again. <laughs> Everything has gone. Madam, stand up. Please, if you are in ministry here, hear me. Reduce your public life. Go back to the secret place and get real power. Genuine grace. Genuine grace. Genuine grace. Let me repeat it, please. If you are in ministry, I say this, please, reduce public life, watching football, going for marriages that you don't have any business to. I'm not saying you should not honor people, but the times that we're living in now, the problems on people, is not just sermons. People are in real trouble. We must trust God for grace to stay in the spirit until you get something genuine that can solve people's problems. 2005 how many years is that um, 14 years no child her period ceased completely the devil sat on it let me see how you have a child madam don't cry it's okay I don't know you I've never seen you you can see how will you be sitting there and then God will just call you I want to pray for you madam please hear me i'm saying it in the open i didn't say it in your ears i want you to go and prepare huh i'm seeing where is your husband anybody who wants to come and destroy your family by giving you something to drink eh? in the name of temeko i i i banish them far you hear what i'm saying because i'm seeing a man i'm not please i love the body of christ but i'm seeing someone come supposedly a prophet but what this man is doing is not prophecy are you getting what i'm saying now six months now i'm, I'm the only one six months yes. he has gone away he, he just I, I went to his office to tell him that i'm coming to zaria today so he now said that hey, i should you're not divorced, <laughs> but he has just gone. Sir, He's, he just went, but you're not divorced. Uh, he's staying uh, where they're they drinking this thing, so he just left me. He may not, don't, don't be too quick to judge the man. See, let me tell you this. You see, Ba, when people go through things, be careful. When you are about to cross people and call them evil and call them this, remember that stability is according to the measure of your understanding of who God is. And there are times that even the strong get pushed to the wall. So don't be too quick. We are people of love. Don't come here and start thinking and saying, especially if you know the woman and think the husband is this. Mm -mm. We are not here to show who is right or who is wrong. We are here to show that there is a God in heaven. Are we together? Madam, hold my hands. I command this spirit in the name that is above all names to release your womb in the name of Jesus. 
madam i speak to you first may god reconcile you back to your husband second you will take in according to the time of life your baby will stay and you will return back with the child in the mighty name of jesus christ every orchestration that is not of god to keep you barren and to destroy your marriage i curse it now in jesus name see anyone here I'm, I'm praying for the ladies now then we'll pray for the sick we have to be fast but no you don't have to come out but you are here the moment you start a relationship with a guy he becomes serious and just when he's deciding to do anything marriage it must scatter you continue to enter relationships relationships re loving and unloving loving and unloving today you are in love tomorrow nonsense manufactures itself i'm praying right now by the anointing of the holy spirit because it's a yoke that must be destroyed i declare by the power of the holy spirit inside and outside anyone who is under that category by the god of heaven let the power of god come on you now to end that captivity let the power of god come on you now to end that captivity You see, please give this woman her photo, that woman under the anointing. We have to pray. Um, the Lord is asking me, we are praying. I, I hope I'm not boring you. I'm not wasting your time. The Lord is showing me a family here. I may not ask you to come out. But in this family, you never settle maritally, but you will have children. No matter how you go around it, you find out that you have children out of marriage out of and and it's not like the men will be there to take responsibility and take care of the children the lord wants to deliver that family right now in the name of jesus christ ah. why is she coming why is she coming out the, the family is she just came out on her own. No, don't worry. Well, she's, she's, she's crying because of her pain. It's possible she's part of that family. But I'm going to pray. Whether you know it or not. You see, the thing about the anointing, I told you. Sometimes God locates people distinctly just to talk to them, to encourage and build their faith. But it doesn't matter where you are. I want to pray now that, that you cannot get married happily with a ring and settle down and have children but the devil will manipulate that you will continue to have children i pray right now i don't know where they are but in the name of jesus christ we declare that that yoke is destroyed now we declare that that yoke is destroyed now that yoke is destroyed now my dear look at me come it's your season of laughter the lord is saying i should tell you you see let me tell you for all the pain that you've gone through i want you to hear me god himself is turning your life around because let me remind you even as he has reminded you that it pays to serve jesus sometimes you will look foolish while you are doing it let me encourage someone here it pays to serve jesus it may not look like he will come every day but the day he comes he will come with dignity and honor and lift you in a way that whoever has laughed at you will have to bend their head in shame i'm praying for you hold my hands father in jesus name confirm your word you have said that it's a season of laughter i call it so and i declare that everything that stands as a blockade to your joy and laughter leaves your way now in the name of jesus I prophesied by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name someone will run out under the anointing hold the person and bring the person out that will be the last prophecy the power of God is coming on someone it's not something you can control by the anointing you will find yourself rushing out by the Spirit please when that happens bring the person I need to speak to the person and then we'll pray for the sick right now it's a very strange anointing and you will find yourself rushing out by the Spirit
Meanwhile, let this lady come. My dear, hold my hands. Let it end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it end now. In the name of Jesus. I'm rebuking something you don't know anything about. But in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it goes now over by the grace of God. There are two ladies here. Only married men look for you. A, a responsible, godly gentleman will never seem to be interested in you. But when you find a married man, sometimes with children, that's the one that will come to you. I'm praying. I know there may be many people, but these are two people in the name that is above all names. I declare right now, whatever is on you that continues to compel married men, Kapos Kalibra Atasubati Katea, Garu Sekete Barato Shadekata, Shaproske Paru Kapa, Embrekete Shali Karuska Baruta, Embrakato Sekata. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit now. I curse so something is burning here. I curse that spirit now. I curse that devil now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be embarrassed, but I see the spirit of lust on this lady. I stretch my hands. Let that devil leave you now. That a man cannot come and pass this lady quietly and successfully. There's something that must continue to draw. In the name of Jesus, by the spirit of the living God, I curse that spirit. And I declare it must let you go now. It must release you now. By the God of heaven, I declare, be free from that spirit. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray for the sick. Our time is gone, but we have to do this very fast. And like I said, please, please listen. All the people who will be praying for you, I just want you to believe. Um, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three. If you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, please not standing for anybody. And aside from those who are prayed for, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, then join the prayer line here. I want to pray for you myself. Just the fruit of the womb. Are we together? Now, of course, all who are here, you can come for your normal prayer. But particularly, if you, are, if you came here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, this, this fruit of the womb issue is becoming a serious issue. And we need to deal with it once and for all. Now, we're going to do this fast. All the people ministering to you will do it very, very fast and pray for you. While you are doing that, please, how many of us came with our prayer requests? For those of us who are visitors, there's still room for you. You can quickly pen down your request and wave it. Ushers will be moving around to collect PR. Please help them. And let's just make this very fast and make this snappy. But overflow one, um, overflow two, overflow three, and then the overflow from the building right to second equa and down let's call that overflow four okay okay there is there is overflow two b then there is overflow four please listen this is overflow one this is overflow two there is overflow two b from this place right to the roadside second equa down then there's overflow four just from the gate of overflow three then we have overflow three in the main building and then online please make your way come out and stand according to those various overflows there will be people there to minister to you right now we'll do it very fast our time is gone Please submit your prayer request. I'll be laying hands on all of them here right now. You can just wave them. There will be someone by your side. We apologize for those of you standing because your seats were foiled. You would soon have it back and then be back to your seat. If there are visitors, some of you who are members, clear the way for them. They can sit down temporarily, please. 
if you are here you are part of us you can allow them to sit on your seat pending when their seats will be hallelujah praise the lord rise up on your feet thank you for your patience stretch your hands to this request please if there are still requests um, that are not here let's have them here very quickly so that we can pray please understand that this is not a ritual God really answers prayers there is a God in heaven who is in this service This is a prophetic representation of our pain, our expectations. There may not be time to speak to everyone. There may not be time to minister to everyone as we would want to. But then I want us to agree right now. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit. As I lay my hands upon this request, we are declaring that every request here must be turned into a testimony. Abaratos calabrandege baratos kedi. Abratos adege baratos shalekatos. Ente prata salagato bradikedi. Karusa tapradisha. Stretch your hands and believe. We are declaring God is answering prayers now. Hallelujah. I stand upon with my bare foot on this prayer request and I declare by the Spirit of God. Even as God has instructed me, I declare that every request here by the Spirit of grace, let it be turned into your testimony. That in the name of that is above all names there are hold on please there are people here this is a death sentence there are people here this is an impossible situation there are people here god will the person god will talk to is far but i pray what looks impossible i bow my knees to the god of heaven the one who honors me when i pray and I convert every request here to a testimony this night. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living Lord. I decree and I declare by the spirit of faith that by this time next month you return here rejoicing. the devil lie to you and say it will be as it has always been uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh.
every anointing that must be released towards your direction for this prayer to be answered we release it now in the name of jesus christ and every pattern that is not just an individual but is a pattern that is written here as god is visiting you here every other person connected to you whose request you have written here we command a miracle for them where they are in the name of jesus christ there are situations here that need the blood i declare by the mystery of the blood there are three that bear witness in the heavens the father the word and the spirit there are three that bear witness in the earth the spirit the water and the blood in the name of the lord god of heaven by the mystery of the blood of the eternal covenant we cancel every ordinance that sponsors continuity of this request in the name of jesus and the king could not sleep in the night and he said bring me the chronicles and he saw there written what mordecai did whoever must remember you for this request to be granted by the god of heaven we open the book of remembrance tonight any man holding what belongs to you which is the reason why you are writing anything here we put pressure on them to release it now every family here webbed in shame and reproach it looks like there is no dignity the speakings of god does not seem to find expression here i agree with you tonight by the god of heaven please help those under the anointing that by the power of the holy ghost shame and reproach ends this night shame and reproach ends this night shame and reproach ends this night therefore i decree and declare that these egyptians you have dropped here by the god of heaven may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever the same way i stand upon this request i command that you stand upon every challenge in the name of jesus christ now i speak over your life the doors that have followed you here closed in the name of jesus please believe let your don't be distracted focus on the word of god in the name of jesus i command those doors be open now be open now be open now be open now every grounded ministry here every grounded business every grounded family hear the word of the lord i command and i declare come back to life come back to life come back to life come back to life every helper assigned from god who has not yet paid attention to you and what you request i stand by the god of heaven and in the name of jesus i compel them to attend to your matters i compel them to attend to your matters i compel them to attend to your matters everything that should have happened and has not yet happened according to the program of god you know you should have entered that level and you are not there by prophecy i push you to that level by prophecy i push you to that level listen you see let me tell you what i'm doing i'm not just speaking i'm placing something upon your life 
you may not see it but you leave this place and watch what happens to you then you will see things turn around let me pray for you the kind of favor that must bring acceleration to your life please receive this one in the name that is above all names may that mantle like a cloak take favor take favor carry favor carry favor in the name of Jesus every area you have struggled in your life you have done what you know to do in the name of Jesus I declare that that struggle comes to end now now please listen the anointing your destiny needs for this season please listen every season has a grace requirement every season there are doors that don't just open because you stand in front of them yesterday's anointing will not move you to tomorrow's place i pray for you this is an impartation wherever you are i declare like the dew of heaven the kind of grace you must carry for this season let it land on your destiny now by this anointing i forbid you from being ignored in the name of jesus christ i forbid you from being ignored i forbid you from being trivialized no man will look down on you they came to jesus and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him the things that must be done through your hands in this season for it to be said this is the lord's doing as you are lifting your hands may a fresh unction from heaven come upon those hands for exploits anyone in ministry here i declare over you go back to your various assemblies and platforms let there be fire on your altar fire on your altar fire on the ministration let the gifts of the spirit work powerfully in the name of jesus we're rounding up let's pray over our finances this issue of finance is bringing many people to their knees bringing many families to their knees distracting people the time we should spend on the things of the kingdom we are focusing on money what to eat what to wear house rent building projects it is not the will of God in the name of Jesus Christ Ebenezer the helper of men I declare this month even beginning from today receive strange financial help receive strange financial help in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you strange financial help everyone under the sound of my voice trusting God for an honorable job listen there are jobs that don't have honor they are time wasters they are devourers i pray for you the kind of job that represents dignity that will honor you and help you to build your home well may the god of heaven give you such a job let me pray for your spiritual life if you have cars you have houses and your spiritual life is not on fire you are not doing well the first index to measure prosperity in the kingdom is the health of your spiritual life that your prayer life fire word life fire fellowship with the spirit fire no room for up
today down tomorrow i pray for you fresh fire upon your prayer life 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 every lukewarmness slumber gluttony these spirits that destroy your spiritual fervency i declare in the name of jesus receive victory over them the grace that can keep a man in the presence of god the the staying power that you can stay with the world stay in prayer not rushing and rush out and one power god is not a magician i pray for you the unction to stay receive it in the name of jesus every dimension in the spirit that is supposed to have been activated there are some of you now listen there are levels of graces you should have left sincerely there are dimensions of power there are haziness certain dimensions of haziness in your spiritual perception there is a level of authority there is an office you should be sitting on now but it's not yet there i pray for you the mantle that will shift you to that level may that grace come upon you now the mantle that will shift you to that level may that grace come upon you now listen everything in your life that has refused to grow god gave you a ministry that has refused to grow no membership nobody is placing a demand on your grace god gave you a business it has refused to grow no increase no impact anything that is alive grows whatever has stopped growth in your life i bring that thing to an end now finally let me pray please the spirit of infirmity i told you that this is this is i came to pray and rebuke that spirit because that spirit like the angel of death is moving over families attacking children attacking all kinds of people headache will just kill a man for nothing kata and they will say it's cancer pain around your breast they will say you have a malignant a tumor see let me tell you whatever you don't fight to victory will remain in your life challenges are not the issue but that you stand and fight the good fight of faith until you see what God said if you have not seen what God said don't stop I pray for you the spirit of a warrior the grace that will cause you to refuse to allow things that are not the will of God May that grace rest upon you now. As a body of believers, we agree that the spirit of infirmity first over this family, number two over this territory, and number three over the body of Christ. Thou spirit of infirmity, we banish your operation now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, nor the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wasted at noonday, the spirit of death. If there is anyone here that death is looming around the corridors of your life, or your loved ones, or those connected to you spiritually and by bloodline, I declare, let death lose its grip over you now. receive the last prayer that i pray for you to end this miracle service and jabez was more honorable than his brethren please listen honor is a real grace you can do everything to bring honor and yet honor will not come 
honor is not about usurping authority over people there is a real grace because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows i pray for you the kind of honor that needs to distinguish you for the sake of the kingdom in this season may that grace and may that honor rest upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ wave your hands everywhere and give jesus praise mighty god wave your hands and give jesus praise father we thank you by the wave offering we receive we receive in the name of jesus hallelujah please drop your hands please let me say this let there be no movement till we are done every time we are almost done many of you cancel out everything god has done through disobedience just give me two minutes and then we must leave there are people here who are yet to truly surrender their life please keep standing we believe in soul winning and in reality we believe that it is the greatest miracle there are people here who came to this place confused looking for jesus sincerely religion refused to give you sometimes we men of god disappointed you but you are still looking for jesus and there are others who are saying apostle i love jesus but the way my life is right now i need help now whatever whether you are inside outside we have two minutes for you please win that war this night don't sit down dilly darling you know that you need jesus wherever you are inside outside i don't want you to be ashamed aside from overflow three overflow two b and overflow floor you can just move to your various projector screens but you are here quickly i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and stand here right now quickly i don't expect you to be thinking about it keep standing it's something you should know keep coming run to jesus don't let any friend hold your hand and say don't embarrass yourself don't let any relative keep you bound our time is gone but your salvation is important keep coming keep coming apostle i want to come but i'm ashamed win that war and come apostle i want to come but i'm not sure if i'm saved or not if you are not sure make your way and come quickly apostle i'm a leader in my fellowship join them quickly we have one more minute please those coming from outside quickly hallelujah praise the lord those online following from whatever nation doesn't matter once you are following and you can hear my voice listen to me please believers listen it is important that we never lose out on soul winning let me say this it is not just an evangelical agenda it is not an orthodox agenda it is not a man of god agenda it is the only way men come to this kingdom no matter what we do please you're a man of god here hear me don't be careless over soul winning it is important that people be given an opportunity except you don't know what salvation is if you really understand what the new birth is you will desire even your enemy to be saved it is the only gateway the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave salvation is a giver's gift to you you receive i salute all of you who have come here some of you are standing here rededicating your lives some of you are not even sure what you are doing honestly some of you are here genuinely for the first time it doesn't matter you see the thing about the love of god is that the moment you call on his mercy 
he will act as though he's not seeing what is wrong with you again the mercy of God is powerful religion is what drives people away from God lift your right hand those around the various overflows join them please say after me sincerely Jesus is in this place you are not reciting a poem this is from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God this night I receive Jesus as my Savior my Lord and my King I declare that according to Scripture I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I'm not only heaven bound but I reign in life I receive of the Holy Spirit from today I declare and forever that I'm a child of God amen I declare over you by the authority of Scripture that your sins are forgiven the Lord himself is granting you a new beginning I pray that you will know the ministry of the Holy Spirit in a new and a fresh way I pray for you that you will know the anointing in a mighty way for many of you who are standing here may God use you to become mighty men and women of God in the name of Jesus I bless you with hunger for spiritual things I bless you with passion for the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen a big congratulations now please I want all of you alongside um, those are the various overflows there should be someone waving his or her hands please I'd like you to follow them very quickly and there'll be a group of people who will address you let's do that very quickly let's do that quickly 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 hallelujah now our time is gone but um, please listen we're about to take the announcements welcome the first timers and we're done I sincerely apologize pray for us by God's grace I know that God will grant us the grace we'll soon have our place and we'll reschedule our services to allow us finish on time praise the Lord hallelujah um, I, I know I welcome everybody we're going to welcome the first timers now but particularly I just want to honor a few people first I want to bless our precious people the delegates from um, the King's Court and the Oasis God bless you <laughs> hallelujah the redeemed Christian Church of God that's um, that's the church that Nathaniel Bassi pastors God bless you thank you there are a group of people here adorable people these people take they take care of me so much every time we have a meeting around their place and um, we love you thank you thank you for your love thank you for your kindness I want us to honor the pastor from Ukraine bless you bless you thank you very much and um, now I know there are so many people please don't find offense is by no way belittling you every we believe the law of honor is one of our foundational um, values our pillars here I just felt I am indebted to some of the people that are connected to these ones and so I just wanted to to do that honor and I think I hope I'm right yes it should be him um, I saw Elisha Maman somewhere he just squeezed himself that's him may God bless you very humble and very great man I love you may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus every other person who has come here especially for those of you who came from so very far um, aside from those that I called within a few minutes I'll request that you come um, and stand here so that we will honor you we believe in honor and I know that in many churches they have different ways of receiving people but we don't fake things and we don't pretend things here when we call you out to honor you we really mean it it's not some Christian stage managed acting no genuinely sincerely so wherever you are aside from the extreme overflows I would request that you just move to the front of your projector stand but for those of us who are here overflow one overflow two please gallantly walk and come right here if this is your first time worshiping with us we want to honor you you're that important and we love you koinonia is this the best you can do
Hallelujah. Please stand. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Let them come while I talk because of time. Keep coming. Let me tell you this. You see, it's all right. Praise God. Just listen to me while they come. It's a lesson that I want to teach all of us. Please learn this. Never take men for granted. When, when God honors you, please hear me, pastors. I tell you why we stop getting members in our churches. Because we get to points where we believe we are too big to honor the people. In other words, they don't mean anything. I always thank God and appreciate every one person who takes the pain to come here. Thank God for the wonderful things that he's doing. But remember that nobody is obliged anywhere to honor you and to promote what you represent. And when you find a people who can make such investments, value them. Are we together? Whether you are a pastor, whether you are a businessman, this world is the world of men. Place honor on men. He says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Influence is your blessing when you honor men. Thank you so much, every one of you. I wish I had the time to really walk to you one by one and hug every one of you. And I mean it from the depth of my heart. But on behalf of Jesus Christ himself, the apostle of the church, I welcome you to Koinonia in the name of Jesus. Many of you have heard about the wonderful things that God is doing here. Many of you have partaken of the same. And it's my joy to truly welcome you. You have come from far within and outside this nation. Um, I'm sure that there are people here that cut across all walks of life. Thank you very much. We truly appreciate you. This is our miracle service. Um, we meet here Fridays and special times on Sundays um, when there's a fixed time. But I just want you to know that I love you. We love you as a family of faith. Thank you for taking the time. And um, we want to pray for you. Truly, let me tell you this. You will not have to tell people you came here. The glory and the kind of results you will see in your life will be a testament. Let's stretch our hands to them and bless them. We love you and we are praying for you. From the depth of our hearts, we are blessing you. Blessing your ministries, blessing your businesses, blessing your career, blessing your family. We want to see the hand of God upon your life. We want to see you loving the Lord like never before. We want to see you growing in the things of God. We want to see you walking in purpose and destiny. We want to see the gates of hell stamped by and through your life. This is why we pray for you. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. The Lord reveal himself to you. The Lord bring you into a dimension of intimacy. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye